So today we will discuss UVs, what they are and how one can do the UVs in uh, Maya. So as you can see in this image here in the pure F, UV is basically a two-dimensional projection of a 3D model. You probably remember this from school, like when we were making these cubes from cutout pieces of paper, like in a cross-like shape. So you can th think of UV as a wrapping of a 3D model, like a, like if you wanted to peel a fruit and then lay out all of its skin on a two-dimensional plane. Now, the two-dimensional plane is called the UV space. The reason it's called UV is because if it was called X and Y space, it would uh, confuse people with the three-dimensional space, which, which is called X, Y, and Z. So U is for the horizontal axis and V is for the vertical axis. Now, this UV space is also called the one-zero space because it the coordinate system that holds the UVs goes from zero to one on both axes. So the skin of the fruit that we peeled earlier, as I said, we would place it within a square zero one space and it would be called the UV space and the skin would be called the, the UVs. So each face, edge and vertex has its corresponding edge face or vertex in the UV space. You can see me here selecting edge and it responding to these these two edges because they get split for the U, for the UVing like in this reference image here you can see the two edges are split from one so the main reason we use the UVs and the UV space is for texturing and other stuff that we use with UVs in shaders but that's a bit more complex we're not going to go into that now the most important thing that you need to think about is the texturing. So now if we apply the t uh, texture to this space here, we would see the corresponding image on the on the cube here. So there is this checkerboard which is done for testing and you can see that it has U1, actually 1 and V uh, corresponding to this uh, rectangle here. And if we, if we go to that rectangle in the viewport, uh, you will see that it holds that one and V image. If we moved it, you see what happens. So the process of assigning a UV to uh, assigning two dimensional UV projection of the model is called the UV unwrapping process. So we'll go into that now with a character. So let's unwrap this guy here. The first thing that we need to know is that the model has no UVs. This one in particular does, but uh, we'll pretend it doesn't. So we can uh, unwrap it from, from start. So the first thing that you need to do is go to modeling here and UVs and then the UV editor. I suggest you dock it here because it's pretty useful. So we have my uh, UV set here from before, but let's make a new one create go to uv sets in the uv editor window and then create empty uv set and then we switch to it okay so we can turn off the checkerboard now the first thing that we want to do is assign some uvs to it and the way i do it is by going to uv and then pressing automatic and then we get this dirty projection of whatever and we don't want that so that's only to assign some basic information about all the vertices in the scene so now with the model selected go to cut slash sue and then move and sue now everything is amalgamated into the into this abomination here we're going to ignore that and now we're going to go into s splitting the UV islands, so-called UV islands. So I want this guy to be mirrored. So I'll go to the front face view by pressing space and then hovering mouse over front and pressing space again. And now I want to delete everything 
on one axis. Now this guy was made to be mirrored, but uh, if you don't want it to be mirrored, you, you can skip this process. But if you do, it's pretty good to know this method because you don't want to repeat the same UV islands because you save more space for texturing. Okay, so now that we have our half of the model, let's select an edge loop. And while holding the UV editor here, uh, your mouse in the UV editor, press Shift and X. And if you looked closely, you will see you would have seen that this uh, line gets bolder. And you can see when you click off it that it's white, which means there is a UV seam. That's called a UV seam. So let's do that as well on the wrist shift x great so now we have like this tube in uh, the 2d space we can see it by going to uv right right hold right click uv and then uv shell and when you select it you can now move it here by pressing w into move mode and move it around now this cannot be unfolded because it's a tube we need another we need another seam here, shift X. And you see how th there is now this straight line. Now, when we select this UV island here and press control U, it gets unwrapped, unfolded actually, or unwrapped, whatever you like. So now it has a nice laid out, network of dots if we now add the checkerboard you will see that it fits nicely here and everything else is not good because it's still in this horrible mashup okay so let's do it for the other parts as well so we want the ear to be split i guess again select an edge loop and then in the UV editor press shift X let's now go to the UV shell move it somewhere else press control and U and you will see that it's unwrapped now let's unwrap the rest of the head shift X Shift X. Actually, no, we don't want this edge. Shift S is to sew, X is to cut. So now when we press Control U, we get the head unwrap. Cool, so we have an ear, arm, head. Let's unwrap the leg. Cool, shift X, cut off its foot. S now again, we got a tube that we want to split down the middle. Same as we did with the arm. Select the shell, control U, cool. Let's also, now we want the foot to be unwrapped. We can do it like this. Let's, so this part is a uh, creative in a way because you have to like think of different uh, ways you can uh, cut the model to fit your needs it's really there are some uh, rules to it but uh, it's mostly dependent on what you need and when and how 
so you should always have full control of your UVing so you know what's going on. Okay, we have a foot unwrapped, we have a leg unwrapped, head, ear, arm, we don't have the body. Now, because it's split from other parts, we can now unwrap it on its own. And we have our hand left, which is the most boring part. You, you basically, you in general want to see your UV seams somewhere where they are rarely seen because sometimes s the seam can be seen in textures so what you want is to like go around the places where you don't think the camera will focus most on and again that's very dependent on uh, on each model and situation but generally it's it's more like you do it under the arm under the leg uh, on the inside of the leg and uh, stuff like that like here inside of the fingers and again there are many ways to do this this is uh, the, w the way I do it uh, there are some third-party softwares that people use like head US UV layout Okay, so we split the underside of the palm. Let's actually leave this. And now when we unwrap it, wait, we missed something. Yeah, we missed this part here. Cut, unwrap, something is missing still. It's an iterative process, you can always unwrap and return to what you were doing to... Yeah, okay, so here... Still we have some issues, can't find it. Oh yeah, it's here. You can also see that in the in the UV editor select w what is causing the issue. Okay, so this doesn't look very good. This is also not good. Okay, yeah, this is a generic hand unwrap. Okay, so now if we were to select this model and select all of its shells, press Control U to unwrap them, and Control L will do will give you us a fast so-called packing of the UV shells, which is pretty useful because it uh, gives you like the quick smart layout of where everything is you can keep unwrapping things in the in the UV space as you find more fitting so yeah that's that's basically all there is to it in the in the UVing the this part here now is called uh, packing and you should aim to use as much of UV space as possible. So there are algorithms to do that. Maya's is working well enough, yeah, but you can also do it by hand like this. For example, if you want a face to have more, more uh, texel density on the on the texture you can like resize it to fit you more 
or if you know the ear is not going to I don't know it's going to be hidden under hair or something you you can leave it small also this underside of the foot if it's never seen you can resize it to wherever and yeah that's basically it now when we apply the checker texture we we see that it's all flowing nicely it looks it all looks correct if you see some weird stretching or bending you know that you did something wrong with the uv so now if we did the mirror thing that i mentioned earlier we get the same uh, textures on the uh, flipped on to the other side which is very useful at many times you will see models having only one side unwrapped and this is one of the ways to do it so yeah i hope you understood everything and uv is a pretty important part of the process so you should be um, very familiar with it because it's very useful to know how and why everything works thanks for watching if you found this content helpful subscribe like share and see you next time